So you got your new launch pad and the latest FL Studio is beta. You install your launch pad driver and maybe even auto map because that's what the internet told you. If auto map is running, exit out of it now. Then open FL Studios, double check the USB connection, then load up a remix performance project provided to you by ImageLine. If all went well, your launch pad will light up. But if all went well, you wouldn't be watching this video. Time to check the MIDI settings. Open your project settings window, go to the system tab, and then MIDI. First, is the launch pad in the list of MIDI controllers? If not, click Rescan MIDI devices. Now it should appear. Second, is it enabled in both the input and the output? You need to output to the launch pad in order for it to light up. Third, does the input and output MIDI port match? These two port numbers need to match in order for the launch pad to work properly. And finally, did you select a performance mode MIDI channel? Specific to the MIDI channel and ports to use, I recommend using a number other than 1 for the MIDI channel and other than 0 or 1 for the MIDI port. Because other programs and controllers, their default MIDI port is either 0 or 1, and their default channel is normally 1. And if you're using multiple controllers with FL Studios, for example a launch pad and a MIDI keyboard, you don't want them to conflict. After all of this, your launch pad should not only control FL Studios, but light up as well. Now check the related videos section for more launch pad videos.